listening to me. Merlin, listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Took y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A sim! Mitch! Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. Lewis and Violet helped too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither have you. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our fish traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? No, I let him have some food, and then we lost track of him in a swarm of walkers. You just let him take our food? What the fuck? Now he knows we're out here, and he'll come back for more. What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? Wanna try stepping back, Brody? I'd recommend it. I'd recommend you getting your head out of your ass before we're all dead. I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious. Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible. Clem. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But... Shit. God. Nothing's easy. Sorry I went outside the safe zone. I didn't see any other option. Yeah, I know. It's just hard keeping us together. <clears throat> well... At least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be all right eventually. Still? We should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie'd be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. 
Someplace safe and happy. All of us together. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better Aww. than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can... can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. You just gotta hold still. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. It's yours. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. It's clear. Time for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. You full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. We gotta go hunting. And there were so many rabbits to shoot. Whoosh! <laughs> it's nice not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice too. Before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it. Now that I'm used to it. There's games and the walls make it feel safe. I do. I really do. It's good to feel safe somewhere. Clem. Yeah? You let that mean man go at the station. You let him take food from us. It wasn't right. I didn't like it. Don't be mad at me for saying that, though. No, say what you want to say, AJ. If we let people take from us, it makes us soft. So you're so tough, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Mr. Softy now? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. No. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. AJ has a very valid opinion. And you can now view the collectibles and stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, AJ... Because it... Obviously wants you to... It wants you to shape his attitude. The way he acts. His... Tolerances. His... Just overall behavior and... Personality. He just, um, you know, he's, he's, he looks up to you as a guardian, just like Clem did to Lee, but obviously we played as Lee, but now we're playing as Clem, but it's now this whole new mechanic of these choices genuinely matter. Everything you say to AJ, he learns from it, and I love that.
Okay, I'm gonna place these flowers. There. You have to water flowers. I know. Don't forget. I won't. Good. I don't want them to die. Can we do anything else? Those look different than the other ones. They are different. They're fake. They don't need water. So they never die? Never. Well, lucky flowers. But they're not as pretty. I'd say they're all right. <laughs> so cute. Wait, what's it say? For Clem, from AJ. Me protecting Clem. Ah. Oh. There. That's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good too. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh. He's so cute. Why is he so cute? And he's not in he's not even annoying like some kids in T V shows and all that and games. Like he's just he's he's not annoying. So used to lugging this everywhere. And he's Never helpful. knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. I'm actually really loving this. It's improved on the other games so much. I'm going to check on him and then we'll blow out the candles and go to bed. I'm not sleepy. <laughs> Liar. You go going to bed anyway. All right. Double check that we have looked at everything. I don't think we have any other stuff to put on the walls or anything, so. Yeah, no, that is it. Good night, sleep tight, don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time, bang. Good work, and thanks. There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, 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 not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. I love that he trusts me, but it's going to have something to do with Brody. There's not a lot of women, so it has to either be Brody or Violet. But I'd say it's probably Brody. Follow the noise. No, it's getting quiet again. I just wanted to check it out. Just a little farther. Oh, this one. Basement. Sides. Can't pick it. We have to find another way to the basement. 
the cellar door out in the yard. Okay. entrance to the basement around here. Well, I know exactly where it is. Was it this way? Well, I did see it before. I saw it. There. Brick. it in our hand. Nope, somehow we've put it in a pocket. Is there any other way we can get it? I think the only way to do it is to break it. Maybe they'll come out? What are we gonna find down here? Should we not have trusted them? Some shut eye. You had a busy day. Didn't exactly sound like a polite conversation. What are you fighting about? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. The man you met at the station. We got history. Rody, don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets I think he's sometimes. more crazy. She's got to tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlon let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everybody. Shut up! Because Marlon was so ashamed of what... Shut up! Shit. Shit! What have you done? For oh, fuck's sake. You're gonna be okay. I, I promise. God damn it! Help! Did you say that, Brian? I told you not to say it! Okay. Get away from her. Come on, Brody, come on. I mean it, Marlin. Step back. <sighs> okay. Okay. Just, just stay with her. There's, there's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? A first aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. 
See? Clementine, remember? Clem, you're in danger. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. Brody, if there's a threat to AJ, you have to tell me. Everything is so faint. I can't feel my legs. Please, try and focus. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let them take you. Take us? To make him go away. Like he did. Like he did with ten sisters. Brody. <laughs> Force it in there and lift up the latch. I can't find anything in this dark. Yes, flashlight. That'll help. Oh my god, I should have never trusted. It's not even like it's a situation where I'm like, you I fully couldn't trust them. They were nice. They genuinely were nice people, but he's the crazy one. It's, it's this, um, leadership that's messed him up. What is happening? Oh. She's a walker now. All I have is the flashlight to kill her. Is that a... Yes, this will work. Um, I've got to go this way. Let me go this way. She's moved. man come on what what is that Why did she sound so demonic? I think a second, I think I killed her.
Talking about. Don't do it, because he needs us alive. Shut up! Brody told me Marlin was gonna give me and AJ up to Raiders in exchange for safety. The same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie. Me? Oh my god. Shut the fuck up, Clementine! Let her talk! Brody told me the truth, and that's when Marlin killed her. Oh, come the fuck on! They only met up with these Raiders. Because Clem insisted they go out there. Quite the coincidence, isn't it? Shame, I don't believe in those. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and her little fucking lunatic? Or me, your friend? She did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders is just gonna come along and take it? I'm just saying. Man, this is fucked up. We don't know her, y'all. I hate to say it, but we don't. But you have to believe me. You don't! You met her like two days ago! I don't know you, Clem. Not really. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess you never will. Don't let her get in your head. Hey, what did you want you to do? She was my friend, too. So was Brody. Clem, I... <sighs> Shit. It will all feel safer once I pull this trigger. I know you know bullshit. You can smell it a mile away. And you're telling me you buy his story? Violet being difficult. Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun, now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Marlon. Be reasonable. Like that. 
I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. We all trusted you. No. I know. I wanted to get them states some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was just too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie and Irma. I didn't want to hurt them. We can still fix this, Marlin. It's going to be okay. We can make this right. We'll help you. We're all family here. The only one any of us has left. I know I betrayed you. All of you. Let me leave. You'll never have to see me again. Just let me become a bad memory. Just give me that. Please. Don't. Oh. My. God. AJ. Oh, AJ. No. We actually. That is such a rare thing for me to even get a situation like that right. And AJ shot him. I got him to put down the gun. I got him to calm down. And I was going to send him away. Oh my god. Oh, I thought the dog was going to snatch him at one point. Trying to protect us. Shit. 56% of people killed the walker couple in the train station. No sympathy. You know, 47% of players went hunting with uh, Louis and Asim. 53% of players went with Pride. Oh, okay. They went because... I've, I'm pretty sure Clementine is a lesbian. So I, that's probably why most people went with Violet and Brody. I wanted to go hunting. Um... 71% of players convinced AJ to sleep on the bed. Okay, good. People actually sorted themselves out. Tried to get him out of his comfort zone. Um, 22% of players surrendered. I don't know what would have happened if we had attacked him, though. I do want to know. You and... 61% of players turned to Violet for help against Marlin. Okay. Oh, right, it tells you. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that was all of them. So, he felt lonely when you chose to hunt rabbits with a sim. Um, when you told him about killing a loved one, he sim with your pain. He's heartbroken, no? 
When you told him about killing a loved one, he sympathized with your pain. Um, you and 61% left Violet feeling guilty. She was pleased after you complimented her fighting skills. Violet was flattered after you comforted her in the dorm rooms. Marlon, Marlon dead. Oh, wait, no, so she, could he have been alive? Marlon was relieved to be forgiven for his actions towards the twins and Brody. He felt proud when you trusted him with Rosie. Ten was understanding of your hesitancy when you first met him. Now, uh, when you allowed him to draw, you he genuinely gifted you his drawing. But how did we leave him powerless? Of your hesitancy? We weren't hesitant, were we? I didn't mean to make him feel like that. You and 59% left AJ hardened. AJ felt comforted when you convinced him to sleep on the bed. He was disappointed that you let Abel get away at the train station. Brody dead. She was pissed off when you pushed back about the encounter with Abel. Omar was glad you checked in on him before dinner. Ruby was disgusted by AJ's bad manners at dinner. Mitch was happy to show off his weaponary skills to you. Asim uh, appreciates that you helped him hunt rabbits. You learned how to bond with Rosie with Marlon's help. Willie was fascinated by you when you met him for the first time. Oh, we didn't... No, we had one more thing to collect. No. Wait, items during the next episode. Oh, items during the episode, okay. Well, I'm gonna let the credits roll, I think. Is it done? Is there anything at the end? Okay, I think that's done.